It's drop day, Thursday. Uh, I had to run at 6 a.m. So a little bit past six. We have a 12 mile run before we head over to the warehouse to get everything ready. We're like four miles in right now. One of my favorite things about having distance runs is like you get this alone time to process thoughts and think about things that you may have been putting off and you get to work through them. So a lot of the time it's like, you know, business stuff that is a bit further out that I can just spend time processing. And other times, like I listen to a podcast a lot called How I Built This. Listening to other founders speak about their struggles in the beginning. You can pull a lot of golden nuggets from that, apply it to what you're doing. It doesn't even have to be business, it can be school, work, and it makes life a little bit easier. I always look at it like a free form of therapy. <laughs> We've got a bunch ready to get picked up by the USPS. First time ever trying USPS pickup. So you pay $25 and they pick up at a designated time so that we don't have to truck them over to the USPS. We'll see if it turns out working in our favor or not. We are about to head to a podcast. We ran this morning, felt good both days. Uh, pace picking up a good bit, like today was 7.07. So feeling very good for being five weeks out. Now, can we stay injury free is one thing. Also, I have an ingrown hair here. What the heck? Anyway, run yesterday felt good. Run today felt good. Podcast with Charlie Sisiak from uh, Good Wipes. He's one of the co-founders or founder and brought on a co-founder. And then um, I think we'll head it back. We'll head over to the warehouse later today. Continue getting um, boxes ready for the pre-workout. <music> Don't get me wrong, I'm over the cold, but now I am sweating in 50 degree weather biking to this podcast. We're back at the warehouse. We finally got a bunch of the pre-workout boxes made. Uh, it's not all of them, but it's a good amount of them. Still have this right here. Uh, that's all flat boxes for the pre-workout. So then we just stick the bottle in each one throw the sticker on top, seal them up, and get them ready to get sent out. We also started on the boxes for the jackets. So they will be using a new box. Uh, the area right at the bottom is for the shipping label. Into New York on top. They are a pull tab. So yeah, figured with uh, the price of that jacket, the packaging needs to be upgraded a bit. And we went with this. So it's Friday morning. Um, right now I'm editing the podcast episode. Problem is the podcast of audio got really messed up, like really messed up. It's gonna be semi unenjoyable to listen to, but it was an interview with a guest and I don't think we can go back and re-record it. So I'm just gonna upload it as is. It's not completely shot. It takes some uh, hard listening. Like to really <laughs> get what the guest is saying. Audio on our end is fine. His audio is a bit choppy and in and out, up and down. We technically have a recovery run today, but these last couple weeks, uh, last two weeks exactly, I haven't been doing the recovery runs on Fridays because I'm trying to give my legs time to catch back up. We are dealing with overuse injuries and that's just the nature of the beast right now. The mindset is very much, let's just get through training without any injuries. So anytime that I can program in a bit more rest, I try my best to do it. I'm very much like a biohack my body, try new supplements type of person. So I got some of this serapeptase and it's supposed to help with like scar tissue and stuff. So I have a I have an idea that if it does actually work, there's a chance it, it doesn't work at all, but like what's the hurt in trying it? Um, that it might help with some of the hamstring um, issue, but it's getting better regardless. So this might help a little bit, might not help at all. Temperature dropped a good bit. I'm going to get myself a coffee because I'm dragging right now. Pretty nice whip.
part of me wants to be one of those people that like learns how to make really good espresso because I enjoy espresso, but I don't know. I feel like you need crazy machines, like thousand dollar machines or something. So good. I had people asking about my keyboard. I use a Durgod with uh, Silent Cherry Reds. Figure I can give a little setup tour as well. So here, I just have a busted LG monitor. I don't even know what kind of monitor it is. It's not great. Held up by some books. The Undoing Project, The Four, 12 Rules for Life, More Money Than God. As you can see, little to no cable management. Trusty coaster. Main monitor. Uh, Asus MG248. Um, a 1080 graphics card. A mouse is a glorious Model O, I think. Yeah. Before I was working for myself, one of the most underrated things about working from home when the pandemic hit was that you could do laundry midday. I remember having to jam all my laundry on the weekends just because I wasn't home like a, long enough really to just get loads done. It's the simple things, man. For those of you that don't clean your lint filters, clean your lint filters or you're gonna start a fire. <laughs> 